first time you kill a man, you come to a crossroads. You learn something about yourself. You don't learn what you're capable of or how bad a person you are or any of that bullshit. You learn you can sleep at night after, or you learn you can't. You're either haunted, or you're not. I was 16 years old the first time I killed a man. And I slept like a baby every night since. Everything okay, boss? Oh, I had it with these guys, Jackie. We gotta put an end to this. That's the plan, Vin. Let me know what you need me to do. Sit tight. I'm gonna check in with Johnny. Anything you say, boss. And when you're ready to put these fucks down, you say the word. He's got what a mess. Look at him. I swear, this place gets crazier by the minute. I mean, who the fuck attacks a cemetery? Let's just keep it together, okay? I tell you, I'm ready to go slap someone upside the head. Attacking a cemetery. That's what's wrong with people these days. No fucking class. Damn. What a mess. See you around, boss. If the funeral didn't go so good, good thing I skipped out after the service. When are they gonna patch up all these bullet holes? The Sheesh. The are puzzled that by the fat bastard's still eaten. I'm not a gossip, not me. When are they gonna patch up all these bullet holes? Reminds me when I worked in the Playboy Mansion. Jackie. See you around, boss. Hey, you, boss. See you around, boss. Jackie, how you sleeping, boss? You sleeping good? So, how you doing? I hope you know what you're doing. I need a vacation from this shit. Everything's good, is it? How you sleeping, boss? You sleeping good? Yeah, you take care of yourself. You always do. Right? Damn, boss. That's it. Now these fucks have gone too far. God damn it, what the fuck is going on around here, Jackie? Okay, now I'm pissed. Pizza. It's like three of your major food groups, and the other ones are completely fucking useless anyway. Yeah, I pack a few extra pounds, so what? We get stranded on a desert island, we know which one of us is gonna make it to the rescue helicopter. If I was Romeo, Juliet would be up there all frickin' day. I ain't climbing that ladder. <laughs> you know, if you get shot in the balls, you should put ketchup on it. Probably wouldn't do much good, but at least you could get some fat chick to lick the wound. Best movie I ever saw was that chocolate. You ever see that film? I didn't understand a fucking word of it, but who gives a shit? I think you gotta keep your cholesterol levels up real high so you don't get any nasty surprises. I think you should be happy with what you got. Unless you're out of mustard. Then you should cry like a girl and shoot yourself in the fucking head. God damn it! That's it. 
Now these fucks have gone too far. God damn it, what the fuck is going on around here, Jackie? You go take care of this, Jackie. Yo, Jackie! It's time to end this, Jackie. You gotta take out that fucking crip. This whole city's a fucking mess, Jackie. We still got a lot to do. You better fuck these guys up good, Jackie. Don't listen to a word that cripple says. Fucking degenerate. Most everyone my age has something stashed under their floorboards. You don't want to look under mine. I gotta get me one of them automatic axe sharpeners. No reason. It's time to end this, Jackie. You gotta take out that fucking cripple. Take care of business, Jackie. Hello again. I don't understand all of this sometimes. There's a lot going on, isn't there? I would rather make things grow than kill things. I trust you're well. I don't understand all of this sometimes. Boss Ahoy! What, me? Nothing? What? So, where you going? You headed somewhere then? I used to have a real vivid imagination, but it all went away when they did that chemical castration on me. Nowadays, I only dream about carpets. Now, I think that's a waste of good brain power. But who am I to argue with my mother? I just don't think people should laugh at a guy just because he's into comic books and video games. I think it's a healthy exercise for the imagination. So don't look so surprised when I rip your fucking nose off because you smiled at me. I know what you're thinking! So tell me why some fucking old pervert can just come in your house and stare at you while you're sleeping. And then he eats your food and drinks your milk. And everyone gets all pissy when you bring it up at the mall and you kick him in the nuts. I was only five, for Christ's sake. I didn't know Santa was supposed to do that. People always say you can do anything with duct tape. Then you see those same people crying their fucking eyes out and pleading for their lives. Where's their duct tape to save them now, huh? That's right. Wrapped around their fucking ankles. Confucius was like this old Chinese prick who did karate in the first Star Wars film. Then he dies on purpose and becomes a fucking ghost. Not so fucking clever now, are you? I was on a blind date and this chick kept asking me what I did with my private life and what were my interests and shit. What the fuck am I gonna tell you, you stupid bitch? And stop fucking crying! Just close your eyes and lean into the coffin. It'll be easier that way. I had this dog when I was a kid. A little poodle called Spunky. The little guy used to go everywhere I went. And when I did time at Leavenworth, it waited for me the whole time I was inside. I should have never chained it to a gate without telling someone. I think if there's a god, he's a reflection of a man's personal desires. For example, my god is an old guy with a white beard who drinks Jaeger and watches a lot of John Wayne movies. Good in a fight, too. That's just me. What, me? Nothing? What? So, where you going? Hey. Oh, remember that story I was telling you? Right, okay. So I'm on the bathroom floor with black number eight, and we're beating the shit out of each other, right? After about two minutes of this, Eddie finally comes in, and I'm thinking, thank God, because this big motherfucker's gonna kill me. So what does Eddie do? He steps right over me. He figures like the girl's getting cold or something, I don't know. He fucking picks up where I left off. <laughs> Long story short, I finally need the guy in the balls till he passes out. I get him out of there. By that time, Eddie's done doing his business. And he comes out of the stall and he says, Thanks, pal, I owe you one. <laughs> I would have kicked his ass right there. But I had to hand it to him. Because that Eddie, he always did have his priorities straight. <laughs> God bless. May he rest in peace, that lovable bald bastard. It was a nice service, Jackie. I'm a gigantic shootout notwithstanding. But taking all them guys out, you did your Aunt Sarah proud. I meant what I said about the choice you had to make, Jackie. 
If I'd have been in your spot, I, I mean, I, I don't know what I would have done. But you showed that bastard, didn't you? Thanks for that. Since moving in with my sister and the kids, uh, the kids have been great. But I can't decide what's worse. Not having any around no more. The one with my sister. Hey, Jack, do you know who those fucks are that crashed the funeral? Let me tell you something, boss. Somebody is gonna pay for this shit. So, boss, are we gonna do something about these pricks who jumped the funeral or what? Oh, remember that story I was telling you? Right, okay. So I'm on the bathroom floor with black number eight. And we're beating the shit out of each other, right? After about two minutes of this, Eddie finally comes in. And I'm thinking, thank God, because this big motherfucker's gonna kill me. So what does Eddie do? He steps right over me. He figures like the girl's getting cold or something, I don't know. He fucking picks up where I left off. <laughs> Long story short, I finally need the guy in the balls till he passes out. I get him out of there. By that time, Eddie's done doing his business. And he comes out of the stall and he says, Thanks, pal. I owe you one. <laughs> I would have kicked his ass right there. But I had to hand it to him. Because that Eddie, he always did have his priorities straight. <laughs> God bless. May he rest in peace, that lovable bald bastard. See you on the flip side, boss. He's back! Okay. You're Take back. It easy. Good. Hey, Jackie. Okay. You take your medicine, man. You... Jackie, I heard what happened. Jesus Christ. I think I'm losing my fucking mind. I keep... I keep seeing that loony bin. And it's getting worse. I mean... It's like I'm losing time or something. Jackie, listen to me. This is what the darkness does. It confuses you. So I, I, I'm thinking maybe it would be a nice time to go visit Hawaii or Fiji, someplace nice, warm, and wait the fuck away from these guys. No, they're holed up at the old boardwalk in Astoria, a place called Hellgate Field. Me and Jenny used to go there when we were kids. That's where I'm headed. Jackie, you gotta think carefully. Hmm? This could be a trick. The, the whole thing mm, it smells like a trap. That's because it is a trap, dummy, but I don't have a choice. I can't let it keep hurting Jenny. Don't let them take the darkness, Jackie. You do that. We are all fucked. What about the siphon? You can't let the darkness have it. You do that. We are all, once again, fucked. Not even the Angelus could stop the darkness then. Great. So I'm fucked either way. Listen, Johnny. Thanks for everything. Anytime, Jackie. Just, you know, never, ever, ever again. Okay? When we were just talking, you said not even the Angelus could stop it. What does that mean? What's the Angelus? The Angelus? You mean you don't know? Jackie, the Angelus is the complete and total opposite of the darkness. It's a creature of pure light. The Angelus and the darkness have been fighting since we... Since we... Well, I don't know, but a real long time, man. Nobody's seen it for a while. And you, of all people, should thank your lucky stars for that. You said this Angelus thing made the siphon? That's the rumor. Creature of pure light, weapon of pure light. 
Kind of makes sense, huh? Mm -hmm. So the siphon... Could it kill me? Sure. If they killed it with the siphon, no way the darkness is going to be able to repair that damage. You go straight to hell. No press and go, no collecting your 200 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks. Tell me more about this Angelus thing. You mean besides the fact that it wants to kill you? A little more than that would be helpful. All right, here goes. Everything the darkness is, the Angelus isn't. The darkness is, well, dark. The Angelus is light. Darkness wants chaos. Angelus wants order. Darkness needs a male host. Angelus needs a female. Guess that kind of explains why they've been fighting for... Well, forever, I guess. Female? Yeah, you know. Boobs, pocketbook, shoes. Female. I gotta draw you a picture? You saying one day this broad's gonna show up wanting to kill me? Yep, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, yep. Makes you feel any better. You're not the first guy to be in this situation. And you definitely won't be the last. Terrific. Thanks again, Johnny. No problemo. You gotta understand something. The, 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 the darkness, it's gonna mess with your head, huh? You get addicted like me? I'm pretty soon, you, you don't know who's controlling who. The dark stuff feels great, but it eats you alive. You gotta be careful you don't end up like me. Gotta trust your instincts, Jackie. Mm, okay? Mm, just don't let these motherfuckers send you the wrong way, okay? Youth is a series of mistakes. Manhood's a struggle. Old age is a big fucking regret. Every victory turns to defeat. You live long enough, you pretty much figure that shit out. You gotta understand something. The, 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 the darkness, it's gonna mess with your head, huh? You get addicted like me? And pretty soon, you, you don't know who's controlling who. Hey, if you die, can I have all your books? What? Is it uh, too soon? Oh, yeah. This all goes shit-shaped in a hurry. Not good, boss. This is a bad deal, Jackie. A very bad deal. I've been talking to Vinny. Maybe we should lay low for a while. Let things settle down. That's smart thinking. And all of you should do that. But I'm ending this. Tonight. What the hell's that supposed to mean? It means I'm going by the old boardwalk up in Astoria. I have something there I need. What's this all about, boss? Just say the word. Me and the boys are ready to bust some fucking balls. These pricks got the nerve to come in here? No, Vinny. I put you guys at risk because of my thing. I'm not doing that again. I gotta do this on my own, all right? Jackie, come on. I can't... That's an order. Hear me? You got some balls, kid. Fellas, if I don't come back... None of that, Jackie. I'll see you when you get back. Got it?